No need to be alarmed, I'm wearing a tank top. Uh, I wasn't planning on wearing a tank top and shooting video, but I am wearing a tank top and shooting video, so just, it's whatever. It's hot in Southern California, okay? I am headed up to Northern California today. I'm headed up to Santa Rosa. My dad just had surgery, so I'm gonna go visit him with, with him for the weekend. It's about a seven hour drive up there, so I'm wondering, what am I gonna bring in the car? You know, what, what, what's my vape, what's my car vape? What's my road trip vape? And then I decided the last time I went up to Santa Rosa, I brought a Vupu kit with me. I just happened to get a, another Vupu kit in the mail, the Vupu Find S U-Force T2 kit. And in my opinion, having a sub -ohm tank in the car on a road trip is ugh, just one of the best things. I believe that's what sub -ohm tanks were really invented for. So I'm gonna get this set up. Um, I'm running late, so I, I gotta hit the road. And I also have to change this shirt. This, this will not stand. Well, at least it's vaping pretty okay right out of the gate. Apparently I wasn't paying enough attention and I picked out the pink one. So, fuck it, it's whatever. I'll rock a pink mod, I don't care, call the cops. So there's two coiled heads with this Vupu U-Force tank. One of them is a single strip of mesh and it's very, very narrow. Very, very narrow and very, very restricted. There's a second coil head in here that appears to be a triple mesh coil head. I'm going to bring this along because I'll probably swap it out halfway because I'd like to use both coil heads, but right out of the gate, this tiny little coil head in here, the real narrow single strip of mesh, already feels a little bit slurpy. I'm going to vape through it a little bit and see how it turns out, but it feels very restricted right now and just a little bit slurpy. I really got to change this shirt. Oh, so much better already. Well, I mean, so far so good. I'm only about three hours into this road trip so far and I've been using the pink Vupu guy. Don't really care for this rubber hand strap thing. I, I feel like you could just rip it out of there, but then I definitely feel like there's no way to get it back in. So I might just rip it out because I it could be useful, sure. I'm sure someone could find a use for that for me. Uh, pfft, what? And it's been vaping fine. The Boule Bolu in here tastes good. I just already am regretting using the single strip of mesh coil head in here. A, because A, what? There's only one reason. It's not an A or a B thing. The airflow on this coil head sucks. The biggest one that's ever been sucked. It's very, very restricted, but not pleasantly restrictive. It's not a pleasant restricted lung hit. It's rough. It's turbulent. If you drag a little bit too hard, it just turns into a sloppy mess and you get liquid in your mouth. If you turn up the wattage a little bit too high, I can't turn it above 30-ish watts on this 0.6 ohm mesh coil head because I get burnt. I get it gets it gets both gurgly and burnt, which in my opinion is that's unacceptable. That's the that's my least favorite thing in vaping. That's the worst experience I think a vapor can have. So I'm gonna try to vape through as much of this Bole Bolu as I can because it's so delicious, but as soon as I possibly can, first order of business is I'm swapping out this coil head because anything's gonna give me a better vape than this current coil head is. Still tastes good though. Also, pro tip, when you're at a really, really, really sort of rest stop, like exit on a freeway on a road trip and there's like lots of gas stations and lots of fast food places, always try to pick the fast food place that you don't think anybody's gonna like. And thankfully at this rest stop, I found an Arby's. And I know that no one's gonna be in the Arby's, except for me, because I love Arby's. I'm not even joking a little bit. 
When I woke up this morning, the first thing I thought about was changing out that boo poo coil head. Already, already like a thousand times better. Triple mesh coil head, so smooth, no gurgly, better flavor. Additionally, I can turn up the wattage a lot higher than I could on that other coil head and get a nice warmer vape. It's kind of a use for it, right? Good morning from a very, very foggy Santa Rosa, California. Been up here for a few days, we all know that. Been reviewing this, we all know that. Still vaping it, it's so much better. Oh, this is my turn. Still gonna be spending today with it, and then uh, maybe when I get back to the hotel room tonight, we can finally finish up this freaking voo poo video, huh? I think it's about damn time to wrap this up. So where am I landing on the Vupu Fit S kit? Here's the thing, I really like it. It's plasticky, but I like it, and I like the colors, and I like the texture. The pink and the blue, it's fine, it's pink and blue. There's other ones that I feel like much look much cooler. There's the white and the black, the yellow and the black. There's like a dark green in the black, which looks awesome. Internal 4,400 ma or milliamp hour battery. It's got the jean chip on this inside, and it's got fit mode, which is their very, very simple mode. It lets you choose between basically low, medium, and high power settings for a brand new vapor when you don't want to fiddle with wattage or anything like that and you can have a real nice satisfying vape without a lot of fiddling with I which I think is pretty cool which I think is pretty cool new force tank honestly kind of never lets me down the triple mesh coil head or the dual mesh coil head they call it something weird it's not just called the dual mesh coil head of course not yeah the U force n3 triple mesh coil heads are the far superior coil heads the U force p2 single mesh coil head that comes in this kit just, I mean, give it a shot if you want to. I personally wouldn't even bother with it. The U-Force N3 triple mesh coil heads give you just so much better of a vape. So vape budget hands, you're gonna need your vape budget hands if you wanna check this out. Yeah, maybe a little bit. 65, 70 bucks around the internet, which is pretty firmly in vape budget hands territory. If we were gonna play the Aliens game or the FDA game where they come and take everything I have, would I go out and spend 70 bucks on this Vupu kit? Probably not. Look, it's great, and I think it would give a lot of people a really damn good vaping experience, a real enjoyable vaping experience. And believe it or not, I actually found a use for this stupid rubber strap. Just now, I was getting out of my car, and I had like a bag in this hand, and I threw my backpack on this hand, and I had my mod right here, and I was trying to like reach for my keys, and I was like, yeah. yeah. And I got it, and I walked all the way to my hotel room with this dangling out of my mouth. So regardless of how wacky it looks, it could come in useful. People could find a use for this. Anyway, no links are allowed in the description, so you're gonna have to use your Google Foo, but thank you guys so much for bearing with me and so much for joining me on this here video. Things are weird and they're just gonna continue to be weird, but I got nothing but love for you, so no matter what's in your hand, let's keep on vaping. Even a pink mod, let's keep on vaping.